Welcome back squad to another video. Hope you guys are doing great. I want to keep you guys updated on everything going on with the Deep Dark, the Warden, and 1.19. I know a lot of people are really invested in all the features related to the Wild Update, specifically the Warden, because this is a mob, this is a creature we've been excited and hyped for for a long time now, ever since we saw it during Minecraft Live 2020. So, we got some new information by the homie Kimby Dogs, a tweet that might give us a sense for what they're trying to accomplish and change with the Warden, which there are going to be some changes. Now, this isn't to confuse anybody, the Warden the deep dark 1.19 isn't released it won't be released for quite some time however mojang did release an experimental snapshot a few weeks ago basically giving us a small little teaser a glimpse into 1.19 features primarily related to the deep dark and the warden and the community had a lot to say about the warden and a lot of it wasn't too positive so we're gonna be talking about this today some changes we might see and why ultimately king b dogs agrees with the community here so share your thoughts and opinions down below especially if you've had time to play with the warden with other 1.19 features how do you feel about it so far in my opinion i trust the direction king b dogs is taking this update taking the deep dark and the warden so i already know that there's going to be plenty of positive changes very optimistic about the direction they're taking this update but if you are new to the channel and you enjoy videos like this please consider subscribing join the stealth army i'd really love to see you around here with that said you know the routine you know the drill, let's get straight into the video. Referring to this tweet first from King B Dogs, where he basically breaks down and ranks the features from the Deep Dark, which is pretty crazy because these are features he worked on, so you can tell that he's just taking constructive criticism, he's taking feedback quite seriously. So he says, in its current state, my answer would be S tier, Skulk Catalyst, Skulk, Skulk Veins, Reinforced Deep Slate. A tier, Skulk Sensor, Swift Sneak. B tier, Warden, Skulk Shrieker, and Ancient Cities. D tier, Deep Dark Biome. And lastly, E tier, Ancient Cities Loot. And this is a reference to, I believe, Waddle's video where he talks about how he would rank the features from the Deep Dark. And for the most part, I do agree with Brandon's tier list. I think most of them are ranked where they should be. I would disagree with Swift Sneak. I did disagree with the Warden. I actually had the Warden as an S tier, which I know most people watching this video are not going to agree with that. And to be honest, I'd probably change my opinion after this point in time, just because I know that there's still some things to be done. An S tier is essentially meaning it's perfect. Like, nothing should truly change about an S tier feature. I just feel like the Warden is still one of the most interesting features and mobs ever. And that's not to say it's perfect. Clearly, there's still things to be done with this mob. There's still some things to have to change or improve. And I feel like a lot of the criticism, a lot of the complaints are how easy it is to cheese the Warden. And I feel like a lot of that is due to the design and layout of the ancient cities. And I feel like it sort of encourages you to tower up. Not only that, there's just so many places you can hide. So even if they do change and improve the Warden, which it looks like that's going to be the case, I feel like they still need to make some changes to the ancient cities. So share your opinions down below on how you feel about the Warden so far. What would you change or what do you feel like needs to improve with the Warden? If anything, I just think it needs to be a little bit faster and probably not so much delay when it comes to being able to locate the player or the trespasser. Any type of mob that it senses, it can spend a couple seconds trying to determine where that creature or mob or player is. And I think it makes it a little bit too easy and also it gives you time to prepare. So I wouldn't mind seeing changes when it comes to the reaction speed of the warden. I know some other people are saying the Warden should be able to climb, the Warden should be able to destroy blocks, which I don't agree with that one. Another idea is introducing another mob into the Deep Dark, and yes, I know that the Deep Dark is essentially home to only the Warden, but I feel like a good idea would be maybe a mob that is spawned whenever the Warden gets angry, really upset that it can't find the intruder. So this could be like a small flying type of mob that is like a fusion between a bat and skulk. 
and it has sort of a knockback effect, like knock two. So it doesn't necessarily hurt you, but it does push you. And I think that would add to the difficulty and sort of help the warden. But there's a lot of solutions and a lot of ideas out there. And I'm sure King B. Dogs is paying close attention to feedback. But this is what he had to say about the warden and some other features related to the deep dark. Wardens are B tier in this list, but in terms of experience, it's really more like S tier in my opinion. It's a great feature, it just needs a little bit more tweaking to make it achieve what its design intent is. We as a team are going to tackle these issues when we can. And lastly, he said, I should clarify on this list, a feature being D tier or some lower tier doesn't mean it's not a good feature. My ratings were based on the following idea. What is the design trying to do? And how well is it achieving that design? So clearly his intent is to make the warden super challenging. And not only that, something you can't cheese. He did mention quite a few times the past year or so that the warden should be the most intelligent or one of the most intelligent mobs in all of Minecraft. So I'm sure they're gonna be working on that. Maybe it just being able to find you quicker or just a better problem solver and trying to figure out how to get to this player, how to get to this mob. One other thing is that I'm tired of the warden chasing bats. It was funny at first, but now it's just not only distracting, but it makes the warden seem less intimidating and just a little crazy at the same time. I think it's one of those things that... They probably should just get rid of it entirely. Yes, it's cool to see the warden attack other creatures and mobs, but they literally just go chasing the bat, yet they can't reach the bat. So it's like one of those features, I'm like, uh, that's just not something we probably need. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really appreciate all the support and likes. You guys are incredible, and I'll catch you all in the next video. So take care. Peace.